Is your air conditioner making a similar noise to this? Is the fan not moving? Well, I have some good news for you. This is going to be one of the cheaper fixes you will have with the AC condenser. First thing we need to do is disconnect the power. If you do not have a disconnect outside like this one, then you will have to turn off the breaker inside. Remove the retaining screws to access the service panel. This is highly likely to be the issue, it is the cap or capacitor. We are going to remove it and test it with a multimeter. Remove the connections, then we will safely discharge any charge in this cap. We do this by using a metal tool with a rubber handle. These can potentially give you quite a bite if you touch them by mistake. Here are the connections, this herm goes to the compressor. This to the fan. And lastly, this one goes to the contactor and is the common connection. The capacitor's job is to assist in the starting of the fan and the compressor. As you can see here the caps give you the information directly on the side. We are going to be dealing with microfarads. This one is a 40 slash 5 microfarad capacitor the 40 helps to start the compressor and the 5 helps to start the fan. As you can see we have set our multimeter to the symbol the same as is on the cap. Then we test across C common and fan then C across to Herm. This capacitor is not giving any readout so needs to be changed. Let's look at what we should find. We want to be seeing numbers closer to the 40 and the 5 as shown on the cap itself. Then it's time to replace the cables to the capacitor. If you're getting value from this video please give me a like and or subscribe. I appreciate it a lot. Here is a quick way to tell the condenser to run. Assuming power is on. Press the middle of the contactor with a rubber handle tool and it will start the condenser. Do not do this for prolonged times as you may cause damage. Also, be very mindful of live wires in here now. Then all that is left is to button it all back up. I hope this video helped you out. I have the tools I used in the link in the description below if you need anything. The capacitor itself can be bought from your local HVAC dealer. They come in many forms so be sure to purchase the correct one. If your exact size is not available you can use one 10% higher or lower without issue. But if you are not sure if this is the original cap, for example the last person could have already gone down 10% if replaced before so it could be misleading, always aim to replace it with the correct output capacitor.